A very special ceremony recently took place in eastern Namibia. People were getting ready for a three-day traditional Herero wedding. The significance of this ceremony, however, is of course the prominence of the people getting married. Professor Kerina, the man instrumental in naming Namibia, was getting married. This is probably one of the most important weekends in my life. His bride, Naomi Kiki Zawana, had spent the week in a room prepared specially for the wedding in her father's house. It's a wonderful experience because I've never experienced this before. And I'm telling you that uh, it's a complicated process. Because here's my wife, who's just literally a stone away from me. I cannot even be close to her until when the moment comes and I'm advised that, traditionally speaking, now is the time for me to meet my bride. Her family in this part of our country is a very highly respected family. Uh, the family was associated with uh, the late chief, Hosea Kutako. Karina's father-in-law welcomed Karina into the family. Today is the beginning of the whole process. We are taking the cattle, follow the cattle, up into the crawl. My representative of my clan side will go into the crawl and the representatives of my wife's parents, you know, will also go into the crawl to meet and exchange, you know, the lobolas and also to have one of the ladies who's my niece to put a ring on my wife's finger. I, I am not supposed to have some, you know, somebody from, from my, my side to put a ring on myself. As the night approached and everyone returned to their separate camps for some rest, a contingent from the bride's family carried a chair, a burning branch, a pillow, a blanket and a cooking pot to the groom to comfort him during the cold, lonely night. Early the next morning, the traditions continued with Kerina selecting two cows from his father-in-law's crawl to be slaughtered for the ceremony. The festivities then got underway with the meat for the guests cooking over the fire. As a culture which revolves around cattle, several rituals followed. These included the rib being taken to the bride and groom during the course of the day to symbolize the joining of the families and the bonding of the couple. Namibian politician and good friend of Kerinas, Peter Kajavivi, had a few words to share about the groom in the break during the day. Professor Kerina is a father figure as far as the liberation struggle on Namibia goes. He contributed a great deal to forcefully push the agenda of our country. As you know, he is a father figure who also contributed to the renaming of the countries, my name, Nahamipia. I would wish him nothing but good health. And above all, what I want him to be is to be the sender of a family tree. I hope he will continue to be an agent of change for the good. Wedding celebrations drew near. Women started to dress up in the flamboyant long traditional dresses and characteristic cow horn headdresses of the Herero. The women from the two families came together to sing, clap and stamp their feet in the Oshina, as tradition dictates. Guests could now mingle freely to celebrate the union. 
The men tapped toes under the trees where they sat, dressed immaculately in their suits with hats and nobgiris. A wedding lunch was prepared and served at a long table in the groom's camp, followed by dancing and celebrations. The festivities were only just beginning as the sun set. And people danced the night away to the lively tunes of Namibian singer, Big Ben. On Sunday morning, as people woke up and went about their daily business, it was time for the last traditions to conclude the wedding ceremony. The family groups gathered one last time, this time at Karina's father-in-law's home, to hear the marital advice given by the bride's father and uncles before the couple were finally allowed to depart the homestead as man and wife. I have been away from our country for 40 years in exile and I have lost contact with all our relatives. But this weekend is the weekend that makes me and restores me in my own community. And I would like to thank all of you for being with me and sharing it with my wife and myself. And I hope that this friendship will not end today here. It will continue into the future as long as God allows us to be together.